So there's probably 28 or 30 people on the hill that night looking for uh, a missing, missing person who turned out to be dead at the time. And then we were still on the hill till well through the night. And we ended up bivvying in, in a bivvy tent, maybe, I don't know, 16 of us, 18 of us. Uh, so cold. And team leader at the time said, well, if we don't start moving here, we're going to, we're going to die. And the next morning, we were still up the hill. When when the helicopter came in, um, it was heavily loaded with fuel. The issue they have with that is that if they came in fully loaded with fuel, which they have to have, uh, they cannot lift the amount of weight that they can when they're... To go. So they had to burn off a lot of fuel. We were sitting on a ridge uh, at full throttle without the lift. When the helicopter lifted, um, we basically went on its side and did a corkscrew approximately three times and landed in the road at a thousand feet. We dropped a thousand feet pretty quickly, pretty heavy, overloaded with the casualty. And uh, I would call it a rapid descent to ground level. Uh, I was working offshore before, so I was quite used to working in, in the helicopters and rapid descents and all sorts of things, but this was slightly different. Yeah. This was um, a wee bit scary, but there's nothing you can do about it. And uh, that was our day, or our night, and then back to work in the morning. And that was, we finished there about nine o'clock in the morning, and us guys were back to work. Six tours in Northern Ireland. I was in the Falklands. I was in three tours of Iraq, Afghanistan, Bosnia. I was all over. Well, it depends what rank you were. I was through the ranks. I was obviously started off as a private and you come out. So every day, depends what rank you are, it's a different job. Because you're, you know, a company come out. I had what, 280 guys in my company? Mm. We used to have a saying, you're all Jock Thompson's Burns, you know what I mean? We're all. We're all the same, you know what I mean? We're all hopefully trying to achieve the same goals. Did you all be a manager? Right, well, be a deer management for part, well, three months of the year. And then uh, it's just jack of all trades the rest of the time. It can be forestry, it can be fencing. Looking after the estate, I suppose. Yeah, and holiday houses, just 101 different things, so yeah, it's quite varied, yeah. And how long have you um, been involved, or been a volunteer in the night the um, Probably about 30 years now. Yeah. 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 You're living and working in the hills, and it's just just a case of helping people out, really. Yeah. yeah. You know, if something happened to me, I would want someone to, to be there for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. We know the area so well. Um, like if it's in our local area, a lot of us don't carry maps and compasses and everything. We just, you know where we're going. I can imagine a territory like this, you are trying to search it properly, where there are lots of places somebody could fall or roll into in a wee mm -hmm. spot of, you know, the vegetation can come over the top of you. have a job finding somebody if they're hidden away somewhere. Because there's, there's five of us in the mountain rescue. There's, there's me, and I was... The I was a team leader then, but I still stood down at the last meeting because I'm getting too old for it. How long were you team leader for in Mountain Rescue? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. I think it was about 20, 20, 20 to 25 years, I think. You sad that you had to step down? Yeah, I yeah, to be sad, but it's, it's for a younger person. There's quite a lot to organise and things to do, and, and there's all this, it's all done through, through the Emails and right. all this, and that's you have to keep on top of all that. I was just getting a bit much because I'm in the fire brigade as well. Uh, 
members of this community and the team are uh, very good at working together um, and that's why our team does work very well because we we don't need an awful lot of technology to know on a call out where we're at at that you know we do different things and we're all working on hills and areas where mobile signal is not great and um, we just kind of know where people are because we communicate through the day and night and uh, it's a great system for a little place like Glenel. I'm Ronnie McDonald. Uh, I'm just recently taken over as team leader of Glenel Mountain Rescue Team, uh, which is, I feel, quite a privilege. It's all about helping people, and that's what it's about.